Forget what I said, bitch. I'm a juggalo. I'm down with the clown. Don't mess around. I'll bury you alive up under the fucking ground. I'm offering a free ride to the echo side. So get in, motherfuckers. Come and take a ride. Meet a freak like me in the dead of night. You're a slave to my music, so come on, let's do it. I've come to free your mind. There really ain't nothing to it. I can't understand why you wouldn't want to come and join with us. It's the fucking dark carnival, baby. Come and feel the rush. I'm a magician on the move with my back. Bag of tricks. I throw you in Lake Hepatitis, tied up to 200 pounds of bricks. I'm a relic from the past, it's open season on your ass. I murder your whole family wearing my Michael Myers mask. My name is Relic, you spell it backwards, it's killer. I'm anti Michael Jackson, yet you can still call me Thriller. I'll overrun you with this frozen tundra. I'll reach in your fucking chest and pull your soul out fucking from you. No wonder they call me Test Dummy 22. Who the fuck hey, are you subscribing to? The bitch, show. Gather up all yeah, and all I want to do is just suck on those fucking yeah, big ass fucking cold. Fucking cold. You got a fucking Whoa. problem with that, you goddamn asshole? Bell, suck my bell. Santa Claus is a pedophile. Don't sleep under your tree. Don't leave a milk and cookies to the North Pole right now. I'm going to lube the pole up, and I'm going to sit on it, and it's going to feel so good. Oh, my God. I cannot wait to have the North Pole in my ass. And then Santa Claus is going to come out with a bunch of elves and his little reindeer, and they're going to videotape me, and they're going to sell it to all you little kids on the Internet. And then you're going to watch me with the North Pole, my ass. Okay. Oh my God, you can either follow me, or you can fucking run the fuck away from me. Cause either way, I'm not going nowhere. Understand? My name's Test Dummy 22. You better fucking get the name right, The fucking end of times, the end of days, the one you will turn to when the world starts to crumble. I am the one that will save you from the misery. So you better fucking subscribe to my goddamn channel because I ain't fucking playing around. Yeah. Wicked voodoo joker killer magic I got the silent weapons for the quiet wars I'ma wrap your whole fucking family up in gauze Obey the laws, MCs will stall I come with this corpse like deadful sin from within My family can drop the pin and let the hostile strike take flight It's the clash of the warlike scripts As you fall into the deadly grips Of my machine gun rap I bombard your whack attack I'm a musketeer with a soul jet arms I'm dropping bombs on Saddam You can't stop this storm I go on and on My style was born Into the hands of one young man with one plan To make one's rhymes bind through your mind like iodine So don't boast about tomorrow, said James Submit yourself to God, you ain't the one to blame I'm the almighty Attending the seven churches in the providence of Asia while the God steady pay ya, I'll start to slay ya I'm the high priest of the new covenant I sit down on the right side of the throne Step up to this, your weak-minded style will be blown Moses warned of the tone of the tabernacle that he built according to plan On this mountain submerged in deadly sand And just like Jesus, I can turn water into wine My people are being destroyed from the lack of knowledge Often rejected through time With the promise of restoration, I bring them back from captivity Act only on concentration of activity This is an Extraordinary hazard inspired by the gods brought to our attention by a bunch of fucking lords ramsack temples and unexpected wars Contemporary scholars with one fucking mission. That's to figure out my sacred inscriptions Strenuous research was conducted religious rituals were reenacted to find out one fat kid that mass and navigators Supported this theory that my rap custom will leave your motherfuckers buried my antagonizing rap attack will leave you stunned as I asphyxiate every MC by the ton I'm a verbal Gun. I'm coming at you just for fun I gave you a signal, now yo, it's time to run I challenge you to a contest between two hostile sides Battling for trust, respect, and for pride I use my charming, yet captivating third eye While I hypnotize minds My rap styles, they vertical, they verbally murder you I never heard of you, lyrical miracle People is spiritual, step up I'm not hearing you, putting fear in you Driving motherfuckers hysterical It's all about the dough Rain, sleet, or snow First fold across me, catch that fire Foe, foe. Who knows who knew and who knows who done it? You better start running, motherfucker, cause I'm gunning at your face. Subscribe, hit the subscribe. My name's Motherfucker, die, die, 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 um, I forget the title. Actually, I can just move this down and look at the title, and then move this up. Okay, twi Twisted Putting in Work. That really took a lot of fucking effort. Okay, anyway. Twisted Putting in Work. And he said a lot of good things. 
And at the end when he said, I'm going to um, stop now, stop trying to make us look more like a cult. I, we are a cult, all right? But there's no way around it. We're a fucking cult. But we're not like a cult in the meaning of the word cult that people know it. You know what I mean? Like, people think of a cult as like, oh, like we're fucking under some like hypnosis. The fact of the matter is, is yes, we're a cult. Yeah, we are. I mean, there's no way around it, dude. We all represent the hatchet man. We all, we, you know, I don't know how to explain it better. You know, it's like, it's hard to explain because like he said, it's until you're in this world and you, you see the beauty in it. Like, dude, I'm going through mad hard times. Like, if I were to sit here and list all the fucked up things that are going on in my life, you'd be like, wow, dude, you're overwhelmed. And you still have time to come on here and put on a pretty face and fucking make a video? You'd actually be like, whoa, dude, I can't even believe you're making a video. Like, you have no idea how much it takes me to get in front of this camera and make a video every day, considering all the fucked up shit that's going on in my life. And half of it you don't even know about. Like, I make the videos about my relationship... But there's stuff that's personally going on with me that I don't want to put out there. There's things that are going on in my life that I can't put out there. That either I'm embarrassed to put out there or just things that, not necessarily embarrassed, I mean, but like it's just stuff that I don't feel as if the whole world should know. So, you know, but getting back to the story, you know, I, I drive my mom to work every day at like 6 o'clock in the morning if I'm home. If I have off from work, which is two days a week. So two days a week, I drive my mom to work. And, um, my Wawa. Um, then I, um, come, you know, I, she doesn't, she, she has, she put a hatchet man on the back of her car. She don't even really listen to Psychopathic. She listened to some of it. I gave her mad CDs. Like, so yeah, she does listen to it now, but before she didn't. And, like, she listened to it, and she realized, I mean, she's like 50 years old. She put a hatchet man on the back of her car immediately. She went out and bought a hatchet man and put it on the back of her car because she understood what it's doing for me. When everything's fucked up in this world, when my relationship, my health, I have something you know wrong with my health or something wrong with you know insurance and I can't get this and I can't do that. I'm you know I me and my girl break up. I'm living back at my parents or you know crazy fucked up stupid shit that happens to people. You know what I mean? Just normal shit that happens to everyone. And really, it does. Juggalos. It happens to Juggalos. I'm not saying it doesn't happen to anybody else, but, you know, we're, we're, we're top of the line, dude, when it comes to fucked up shit happening. And if, if you don't have fucked up shit happening in your life, you might want to check your resume, because I don't know if you're down. Whatever. I mean, hey, if you're doing good, you're doing good. I, I wish the best for you. I just, you know, I know me personally, it seems like every time things start to go good, it just automatically crashes fucking down, and you know I don't I don't know what I don't know what to say or do about that. It's just it feels as if someone broke like ten mirrors in my name and gave me seven bad seven years bad luck for each, and it seems like I'm cursed with bad luck for eternity. That's almost how my life feels. Sometimes I sit there and I just want to fucking cry. I honestly do. I sit there and I don't even know what the fuck I'm excuse me what I'm doing. You know. And I wonder why I even come on here sometimes and make videos. I think, like, people don't fucking like my shit. You know, I've been doing this for two years. I got 400 subscribers, not even. You know what I mean? And, like, I know people have been doing it for, like, a year and got, like, 30,000. And that's because they sub for sub. And they, you know, they bullshit and get their views. I mean, get their, you know, shit other ways. I'm doing what I do. This is what I do. I talk about what the fuck's going on. I talk about, you know, if I see a video from somebody, I don't do a response. I just fucking make a video of my own about it. You know, I mean, a lot of people make responses. I'm not really that type of person. I'm not a big make a response type person. You know, I, I very, very seldomly you see me doing a response to somebody. I might start doing them. I do have a section on my channel for responses in general. But anyway, getting back to, um, God, I love coffee. Irish cream, man. Irish cream. Um. I need it in the morning, you gotta have it, you gotta have it, um, you know, but, like I said, like, I, I'll be driving home after dropping her off, and I'm, my life is fucked up, and I, I was listening to my ex, today, actually, and just, like, it was something about, or no, 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 was it, I was listening to that song, too, but, everyone come see the greatest show, gather up all juggalos and roll, that song, 
the original version, not the like, the tainted version for when they did for, I think it was for the oddities, but um, the original version where it's like gather up all juggalos and roll, you know, not the oddities version, the other version. Um, maybe I'll throw it behind here as a track so you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but uh, that song sometimes, or well, at least to this morning, man, made me feel really good. It made me feel as if, you know, I'm a part of something that not a lot of people are a part of. I'm a part of an underground culture of people who aren't even known to the to the masses at large, you know, and we're so happy together, you know what I mean? Like, we can go to a show and just be happy and put aside all the bullshit that's going on in your life, all that crap that you deal with every day. You can just throw it away and let it go out of your mind and when ICP walks on the stage, it just disappears. You know what I mean? And I am I admit, yeah, there's other bands you could probably do that with. I admit that. But it's something about, and I've been to other concerts, I've seen other people perform. It's something about these guys. It's something about what they say. It's something about how they do it. I, I can't pinpoint it. I just know that it's wicked. It's juggalo. It's what I am. You know what I mean? It's it's what I I don't want to say what I live for, but man, you see my videos. I work for Psychopathic. You know what I mean? I don't, this is not, you know, I'm not under their payroll, dude, but I work for them. If a story comes out about Psychopathic, I will be on here making a video about it. If an album comes out about Psycho, or from Psychopathic, I will be on here, I will mention it. If something happens in the world of Psychopathic Records, Anything that has to do with that hatchet, man, I will be on here. We're a fucking army. We're a cult. No matter what, I don't care. You know what? Call us a cult. Because we are a fucking cult. But we're not, you know, freaking Waco, Texas cult. We're fucking the juggalos. We're the ones who are going to change this world. We're the ones, if you would live with us and live by us and follow this fucking path, you would finally find a fucking reason to be happy. You would be no longer consumed by the crap that goes on in this fucking world. You would finally wake the fuck up and realize what life's really about. Having fun. Family. Friends. Giving a fuck about your fellow person. You know what I mean? Helping out motherfuckers. That's what it's about. Not stabbing motherfuckers in the back. Being a dick. It's about being nice to people, man. It's about fucking family. It's about the love, man. It's about the music. It's about it's it's about every fucking thing. There's no one aspect that can't be there. It's a perfect combination that creates this fucking orb of goodness and freshness that just cannot be overpowered. No matter how many people hate on it, no matter how many people try to destroy it, it will never ever go away. And I think it's beautiful because the hate from the outside just fuels that orb and makes it burn even fucking stronger. And it will never fade out. The sun one day will die. Juggalo love will never die. You understand what I'm saying? This earth can be dead and gone. That shit will live on forever. And yes, I would die for my fucking family. If, if Violent J said, let's go march right now. Let's go march right now. You better fucking believe I'd be rocking that fucking hatchet and joining that fucking army. Because that's the army I want to fight for. A fucking army that's not out to get fucking money and power. An army that's out there to teach motherfuckers what's real. To do what's right. And doesn't give it to you fucking sideways. They give it to you straight. None of this fucking stupid bullshit. You know, end the fucking discussion, man. Yeah, we're a cult, motherfucker. Deal with it. You want beef? Bring it. We're fucking all about the love, man. You want to join? Join us. Follow us. I don't think I don't think I've ever been led down the wrong direction by the fucking family. I have never been led down the wrong path by psychopathic records. They have never led me wrong. They've only ever done one thing. Well, a couple things. They've only ever put a smile on my face, gave me something to do with my life. When I was down, they helped me up. 
If I need someone to talk to, I got family to call up or fucking message or whatever the fuck. They don't go away. I don't have to wait around four years for them to drop another album because they're gonna put something out for me. Because they know we're, we're here. And they don't fucking just say, fuck you guys, we're all about the money. No, we're gonna put shit out for you because we give a fuck. Because you guys are the ones that, that, are, that made us. We're not gonna fucking turn around. We're gonna come in the crowd. We're gonna talk to people. Now, I'm not saying it happens all the time, but, you know, it's not like you never can talk to Jay or Shaggy. Or you can never, you know, touch them or fucking talk to them or fucking get into their heads a little bit. They ain't holding nothing back, man. Same goes for Twisted. We're gonna put on a fucking a carnival every year for you. We're gonna put out CDs all year long for you. We're gonna go on tour all the time for you. We're gonna put out fresh merchandise so you can rock that shit because we know that's what you wanna do. You don't have to wait around. We're right here. We ain't going nowhere. That's what that's what it's about. They ain't going nowhere. Even in death, they will have life. This hatchet man is going to be on my arm till I die. And every other juggalo out there with one is going to have the same exact thing. Do you think this hatchet man's going away? You could kill Violent J and Shaggy 2 Dope and we'd still rock this shit. We'd still go to shows. We'd still listen to Psychopathic. Ain't nothing taking this shit away. This family's going to last forever. And I promise you that. As long as I'm breathing, it's going to last forever. Because if need be, we can, we can make this thing work. There's nothing that's going to stop this journey. We're special, y'all. We were placed here and put into this situation for a reason. Maybe we were put here to show the rest of the world just how fucked up they are. Maybe we're the ones who aren't really that fucked up. Maybe we're the sane ones. Did you ever think about that? Maybe we're the ones with our head on right. Maybe we're the ones with the good ideas and the good thoughts. And the rest of the world is fucking confused. And they are. They're running around, bumping into each other, going down the wrong path, chasing the cheese. And what are they getting out of it? Are they having fun? Are they living their life to the fullest? No, they're not. Is that what we're doing? Hell yeah, we're having fun. We're living our life. We're doing what we got to do, and we're having fun doing it. We're fucking juggalos. That's all I got to say right now. Much clown love, y'all. Test on me 22. Keep on watching. Subscribe. Peace out, man.